All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. Again, again. Um, second video of the day. As soon as I finished my God of War video, went on Twitter, saw another update. For Spoken has been delayed to January 24, 2023. It says, as a result of ongoing discussions with key partners, we have made the strategic decision to move the launch date of Forspoken to January 24, 2023. All game elements are now complete and development is in its final polishing phase. We would like to thank you for your continued support and patience on this journey. Your excitement for the game inspires us every day and we cannot wait to share more about Forspoken with you later this summer. Obviously, the, um, the publisher is Square Enix, developer is Luminous Productions. So I obviously called this. I have several tweets, which, you know, I can show in a second, which I'm like, this game needs to be delayed. This game's rough. There's no reason this game should launch in 2022, right? I've been critical of the game and many others have been critical of the game. Um, some people have been on the fence about it. And the game has actually had like this kind of big defense force also, right, who have been saying, no, the game looks great. You know, there's no reason it should be delayed. They should. They should. I don't know what the hell you're looking at. But anybody who's a gamer with some decent eyes can see this game. Every showing of this game has been very rough around the edges. There's nothing that they've showed in this game that influences confidence in a soon to be release. Now, the game was originally supposed to release in the first half of this year. Then it got delayed to October 11th, I believe it is. Now the new release date is January 24th, 2023. So this is the second delay. And I'm going to say this, it may sound crazy. I don't think the game is going to be delayed again. I wouldn't put it past it. But I wouldn't be mad at, at another delay. Because only because, only like I said, when you look at the demos, the showings and all the videos of this game, it looks it looks rough. It's on a on mostly on a technical aspect the gameplay looks like it has a lot of potential looks like it could be a lot of fun but there's so many things i think that this game is demanding for it to be good for one the story the story and especially this is a um a, a japanese um developer with not a lot of experience necessarily they don't have the best the you know the the most tenured experience and they're a Japanese developer making a game with a black female protagonist. And that kind of, if they don't have somebody actually, you know, consulting and um, kind of directing them, somebody of color, that leads to a lot of inauthentic dialogue, a lot of cringe worthy moments, you know, and we saw some of that in some of these videos where the character is just saying very strange things it does just doesn't seem natural and it's one of those games where this character is you know taken from the real world and put in this fantasy land and apparently there's some evil witch that she's going up against that rules the land you know that whole story that whole narrative didn't necessarily seem like the most interesting plot either so there's a lot of things story-wise gameplay looks like it could be promising but we saw like this this open world that was completely empty the traversal looked cool the combat looked okay but tech on a technical aspect that's probably where the game looked looked the worst i don't think we've ever seen this game running at a stable frame rate that, like that's that's a bad sign when you've never seen a game running at a stable frame rate because a, a lot listen the, a lot of publishers, a lot of developers, they can make like a vertical slice and ha just have that running at 60 frames solid. The fact that you couldn't even lie to me, not that I'm saying they w I want them to lie, to lie to us with a vertical slice, but the fact that you couldn't even put, the, put a video of this game out that in its best shape possible so we can see what, in, what this game looks like in the best case scenario shows me that this game needs a delay and there's no reason that this game should be coming out this year so i don't the people are like no the game looks fine i don't know what the hell you're looking at don't know what the hell you're looking at so you know because i you know i'm right all the time people don't give me my respect but I, I be calling shit out a year in advance be calling shit out way in advance because listen i'm a gamer i could see shit i could just see things right you know people don't want to give me my credit but i predict things all the time um you know i the game was delayed till January. 
I said the game back in March, I said the game should be delayed till February. I was a week off. They're probably launching in January because there's less competition. And I do think this game needs to release when there is not a lot of uh, games, uh, you know, going going up uh, against it. There was some more tweets. I don't know why it's not showing up here. Let me see. Um, yeah, I said here, January 17th. Um, for spoken clearly needs all the time it can get. I seen recent gameplay. It looks rough. I said uh, since Crisis Core uh, is coming out this year, for spoken needs to be delayed. Give that game more time. Um, you know, back when God of War, it was still you know speculation on whether it was going to release. Um, for spoken should be delayed again. Called it. Like I said, I be knowing what I'm talking about. That's all I'm saying. Like, cause. Saying this game, especially the first time we we seen it, that it looks like just looks like an early generation tech demo is I don't think that's inaccurate. I think that's kind of fair. I'm you know the game kind of does seem like a tech demo turned into a game. Like I said, I still have confidence in it now. Now that it's been uh, delayed again, it's and I know developers. Developers, you know, they'll tell you. If they could, they would continually develop a uh, delay a game until everything is perfect and everything is never going to be perfect. Right. That's why they need sometimes the execs and the big wigs and all of them to tell them, OK, that's it, because that's how developers are. You know, a lot of them are perfectionists. They'll delay a game even when a, even when a game releases in a great condition, a fantastic condition. Developers are always like, oh, I wish I could you know, would, wish I could have gotten to this or this before the, the game actually officially released. So, yeah, um, I know you can't delete, uh, delay something forever, but push it off as far as you possibly can uh, for the sake of the game, especially with, um, you know, we know Square Enix has, you know, sold off a bunch of their properties and studios and things like that. They can't risk anything else being a flop they shouldn't risk anything else being a flop because their reputation has been you know a little bit sketchy and everything like that so you know you want to you want to you want to hit do quality you know you want to care about the quality uh more than um more than anything else at this point so delay it as much as you can um i'm still of course very skeptical about this game i want it to be good uh this is definitely the right decision for it they said the game is in, you know, the final polishing phase. I think that this delay really is mainly about polishing, right? I know they said, you know, it's strategic decisions and all and all that other stuff and a few other things. I think it's really about polishing because even if the story isn't the greatest, even if, and I've seen, like I said, the gameplay seems like it could be, it could go either way. I've seen some cool things with the gameplay. I've seen some eh, things with the gameplay. That could really go either way. If the game at least launches and it's technically sound, it's not super buggy, the, you know, the, uh, it, it, it's, it has a stable frame rate, all those things, then that at least helps your case, right? People could see that the potential was there, um, you know, the, the people can have different interpretations of the story. They can feel different ways. Uh, you know, some people may like the gameplay. Some people may not. But technically, that's not that's not a debatable thing, right? A, a, a game that has a bad frame rate has a bad frame rate. You know, a game that has bugs has bugs. There's no, like, debate there. There's no in-between there. So I think that's the most important thing for them to do right now is whatever you have, as the game, you know, as far as the story and the gameplay, that's it. Now, just clean this shit up. Clean this shit up. Make it, make it extremely clean. No bugs, no, you know, technical hitches and all this stuff. Make it stable. I'm sure they're 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 probably gonna have a, uh, maybe have some different uh, modes how the game runs, I guess. But that's the most important thing at, at this point. Whatever, because you know, whatever you have in a game is not is not necessarily going to change in uh, what it, what would that be six months? Whatever you have in a game at this point, that's what your game is. So yeah, just clean it up, um, and we'll see. You know how it how it turns out.
Sometimes the, uh, you know, sometimes the first game doesn't have to be the best. That's, that's how it is most of the time. But as long as you, you know, build a foundation of something that has some found, uh, potential for a second game and you take all the things you couldn't do in the first game and make it better in the second, sometimes that's good enough for a, a new IP. You know, sometimes that could be good enough. So, yeah, we'll just see how it turns out. Um, and uh yeah let me know what y'all think about this man um give me my respect i called it that's all i want just want some respect around here because i can see these things i'm a visionary and uh i will catch y'all on the next video hopefully when i refresh twitter page there's nothing else to talk about and uh yeah i'm out i can't believe people were like oh yeah the game looks fine it looks great yeah release it that shit looked rough R-U-F-F, -F, rough, okay? Scooby-Doo, rough. Uh, yeah, I think sometimes some people have like, when they see something they they like, they kind of put on these rose-tinted glasses and, and try to ignore all the other aspects that are clearly lacking. Well, I'm like, nah, I'm looking at everything. I'm looking at everything. So, yeah, I'm out. Peace.